Hi friends, in this problem, we are given a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. A, B is perpendicular to A, D. That means this angle is right angle triangle. We have to calculate the overall area. Two of its sides are equal, 25 and 25. This is a simple problem. Just by using Pythagoras theorem, we should be able to solve this. Let's see how. Here we can draw this diagonal because this is a right angle triangle. This diagonal is equal to under root 32 square plus 24 square. Right, because this is a right angle triangle. Hypotenuse is BD. Right, so BD is equal to 40. Right. Now, B, C, D, this is an isosceles triangle, right? Isosceles triangle because this is 25, this is also 25, right? If I draw a perpendicular from C to B, D, it will touch B, D exactly at the midpoint, right? That's why B, E is equal to 20. Similarly, D, E is also equal to 20, right? Now, again, because this is perpendicular, B, E, C, and D, E, C, both are again right angle triangles. And to calculate C, E, 20 square plus C, E square is equal to 25 square. So, C, E square is equal to 20 square minus 25 square minus 20 square under root of that, which is this C is equal to D. Right. Now, what is the total area? Total area is this, this plus A, B, D plus B, C, D. Right. Two triangles. Area of ABD is half into base into 8, half into 32 into 24, which is 384. Right. Similarly, area of BCD. BCD is this plus this. Both are exactly same. Half into base into CE into total BD, 40. Or you can take 20 and twice of that. Half, half CE, which is 15 into BD, which is 40. Right. Which gives us? 300. So, area of this entire part is 300 square meters. Area of this part is 384 square meters. The total is 684 square meters. This is such a nice problem. Next one. Simple problem using only Pythagoras theorem. Next one. Let's look at this. Euclid has a triangle in mind. Its longest side has length 20. And another of its side has length 10. The area is given. What is the exact length of the third side? So, we are given the longest side, let's take it as PQ, which is 20, and another side, which is 10, which is already given. Now, what is the area of a triangle? Half into base into height. Right. Let's take the third point as R and draw a perpendicular on PQ. Right. RS. RS is perpendicular to PQ. Half into base into this RS is 80. Right. Half into 20 into RS is 80. So, what is RS? RS is 8. Simplifying this. Now, PRS. PRS. This is a right angle triangle. So, RS we know. What is PS? 10 square minus RS square root of that. 10 square minus 8 square root of that is equal to 6. That is, PS is equal to 6. If PS is 6, SQ is equal to 20 minus 6. Right? This entire thing is 20. So, this is 40. Now we know this is 14 and this is 8, RS is 8. So we know RQ because this is again a right angle triangle. So RQ square is equal to 14 square plus this 8 square, which is under root. Uh, what is QR? QR is under root of 14 square plus 8 square, 196 plus 64, which is root of 260 units. So here also we just used Pythagoras theorem. Simple Pythagoras theorem and layer half into base into height. These are elementary problems. Hope you like this. Important conceptual problems. Thank you guys.